time to begin our next community series. You voted for it. SAO Season 2 wins. It's kind of funny how you, we pulled again, even though we were already watching SAO. But I don't want to lock people into a series if it has multiple seasons, right? Because as our channel grows, new people show up and they're being forced content that they never voted for. That's why I think it's fair to have, you know, anytime we go to a new season and there's a lot of seasons that we don't... And, and I think it's better to have people vote on it. SAO Season 2 won. The demand is there. If we get through this, Season 3... Season 4, I hear that's the peak of peak. Let's watch. What is this called? Gun Gale Online, I believe. Let's go. Zacido. This is game world, yeah? What stats the best? Alright. Sure, just dodge. Agi is OP stat until now. What's the new meta? <laughs> <laughs> you fucking loser that spent eight months never leaving the house, only racing agility. The meta just changed it. Your fucking life is pointless the last eight months. <laughs> this is how you fucking trigger people, bro. You you basically tell them the game that they've been playing is it fucking sucks and people get so fucking mad. What do you mean? Zaza! Zaza! Because we're looking for villains, right? People were said like Zaza is like a main villain in one of the things. Is this Zaza? I don't know. This is a mysterious hooded figure. I'm still looking for Zaza. Top player of Gun Gale Online. Guns. Okay. Tournament? Bullet of bullets? Yeah, you're just mad because you invested into agility. Uh, if kick, okay, if it's gun gale online, we're shooting guns. Agility is OP because if you shoot bullets but you dodge it, and then it's best, right? So what's that? Strength, intelligence, luck, health, vitality. What other stat is better than dodging? What overcomes dodging? Just more fucking bullets? Being tanky? And just like absorbing all the bullets? What's the meta now? Okay, important thing. Games with levels don't let you respect your stats. Which I think is so fucking dumb that you're not able to... I don't know. I think it's a very old traditional way of like locking players into forcing them to stick to one specific thing. And then when they realize that they fucked up, but they want to go back, the incentive is to use a cash item to then reset those points. I understand that, but it's like pisses people off, you know? Is there a player in this game that's been playing for all this time, but never spent the skill points? Just like didn't spend it in Agi, just saved it. Stockpiling, waiting for the meta to develop. And then are they now going to take whatever the new meta is, put that all that shit in there, and that is Kirito? Is that what Kirito is in this season? Don't tell me. Zaza! Zaza! Hello, Zaza! Is that Zaza? Is that Kaiba? Zexed is the one that said Agi is the best meta and made everyone invest stats into Agi. But now he's like, psych, you fucking idiot. It's not Adji. I got you all. Oh. Kaiba? And then D. Oh, he's got a gun, guys. Oh, no. <laughs> You're pointing a gun at a fucking hologram screen. You will now be judged by true power. If you shoot a gun in the game and you die by the gun, do you die in real life? What, what, is, what is the stakes of season two? Right? What is the stakes of season two? He's gonna be judged by true power. Okay. Oh, the soundtrack is still so good, bro. <laughs> yeah, what are you doing? Wait, the people laughing might die too. Uh oh, he shot at the screen. He shot at the TV. <laughs> no! You're supposed to tell us what the new meta is. Is is the player's own ability of what? True power. True power, guys! Okay, okay, did they did he die though? <laughs> Cause like it looked like he was having like a fucking heart attack or some shit. Look at the way he's grasping at his fucking chest. Did he die? What happened? Oh, I don't know. <laughs> Who are you? Oh! Not Zaza. 
Death Gun. Maybe, maybe Zaza is season three. Okay, so there's this new villain in season two. His name is Death Gun. The name this gun I share. <laughs> it's so kind of cringe. <laughs> I named this gun and I'm also the same name. Behold, true power. So if you get hit by the gun, you die? What the fuck? Okay, gun world. Mom, I'll be home by six. Asuna's phone? How many years has passed? Years since we've gotten out of AFO. So three years. So now they're 17. Asuna's 18. Kazuto, my boyfriend! Yo, Kirito now actually looks more like Kirito in game. No, he always did. I'm getting mixed up with the Kirito and AFO design. I'm Kazuto! Where is uh, Sugu? Where is Sugu? Okay, Sugu does exist still. Good, good. She's walk she's doing our laundry. Do you think Sugu like sniffs Kirito's dirty underwear? It is, it's the old colors of her guild, right? The knights and Kirito just wearing all black. Is Tiffany gonna tell him? There's a new game! New VR MMO! Okay. That's actually pretty cool. Is this important for the plot? Oh, Kirito's being so, so... I don't know. Detailed about this. Nerd Riz. Who's watching us? Kaiba... Is Kaiba watching us? Kaiba lives in the digital world. He can just go through his, you know, technology. I don't know. Is Kaiba watching us right now? ID Heathcliff. These kids just looks like it looks like Sachi and Yui. Just younger. Both of them same age Sachi Yui clones with the fucking hairy color. Nah, this one's not really Sachi hairstyle. All kinda is. This one looks like fucking Yui though. I don't remember a camera guy from season one. Right. Tactile senses, heat, cold. Yeah, we're gonna have to develop this new futuristic technology to get our virtual daughter back. He is actually gonna be the next Hi Kaiba, right? He is actually gonna inherit Kaiba's will and then go on to create this new thing, augmented reality, that's even better. He's already a nerd on top of that, we already know that, right? So it's looking like Kirito is gonna be like Kaiba in the future. Zasido. Seijiro. Asuna. Oh? Fancy. Uh, who the fuck? That's the guy that was Seiji or something. Who is this new character? The guy we're working with to do the research on tech? AI hello. Introduced the extra episode before season one end. Did we act we've never seen him in the actual episodes, but he was in Alfame Online. Okay. Expensive? Get the most expensive one. Too easy. Too easy. Got network? Like, does he have networking to get people to like... The fuck? Leader? Whoa, whoa, whoa. Leader of the response team. So they met an SAO. Not ALO, sorry, yeah, yeah. This is an SAO when he woke up at episode 14. This is one of the first person that was there. Ministry of Internal Affairs took... 
Okay, we have like a super high up government official in here, okay? So this is a super important character. He's like super deep into like government technology, advanced communication, network promotional division section. Jesus fucking Christ. Yeah, he's okay. Important contact we have in the government now. How, how did we raise him up? What do we do? Did we save him? He never played the game. He just wanted to know about SAO. That's why he was there. Because he's a hero of us. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. He's trying to get intel from Kirito. Gotcha. Gungale! Zaza! Zexeed. 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 Heart attack. Heart attack? Unnatural death. Heart failure. Death gun somehow can cause heart attacks. In Gun Gale Online. How? What the fuck? Like that gun? That gun is special. He shot at the TV too. That's the craziest thing. He didn't even shoot at the person. He shot at the fucking screen and it worked. Like, what in the fuck? Maybe the bullet is misleading. Maybe shooting the screen had nothing to do with it. And there's something else. Like, shooting, shooting the gun is more symbolic, if anything. And there's someone else that's tapped into Amisphere Gun Gale where you can target people and give them a heart attack somehow. That's what I'm thinking. Not a brain fry, heart failure. Heart failure through Amisphere is possible? Hmm. Two days, no eating? For hardcore gamers, maybe. It's the only game in Japan with pro players. Okay, okay. So, so. Enough of random bullshit MMO where there's a bunch of fucking noobs and you outstab people with gear. We have Valorant. We got esports. We got GGO. Sweaty motherfuckers. Pro players. Okay, okay. The skill threshold is gonna be much higher. The average competency in GGO is gonna be much higher. Okay. Zexido sounds like fucking no game, no life. On stream. You know, this guy in the middle is kind of suspicious looking, maybe? You think maybe he's in on it? You, you, you think the guy in the middle? I don't know. Maybe I'm being too judgmental by his looks. Just wearing like a dark outfit with a cape and everything. The gr it, what if it's the girl on the fucking right? What if the girl on the right? But did he just happen? Because like the gun being shot at the screen, it's got to be timed. And he did, Zexy did make fun of the guy in the middle saying, Oh, you spent all your stats in Aji, you fucking idiot skill issue. And then what though? How does the heart attack work? <laughs> Hmm? This is true power! Bang! Okay, we got voice memos recording from game. The file contains a counter in Japan, Japan standard time. Oh, we're just talking about the odds of like, how does it make sense that a guy shot at a fucking TV and he just dies? That's what we're talking about. It has to be just a coincidence. Well, another heart attack. Let's look at this fucking, a newspaper. Okay, let's look at this fucking setup. Look at the figurines. He's got a two monitor setup. Got a gaming chair. Nice cushioning right over here. He's got some disgusting garbage in, underneath the table. Listen, I got some disgusting garbage too, but it's like not underneath my table. It's it's over there, right? It's 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 it's, it's right over here. It's it's beneath where, where the anime screen is. It's it's all over there. What kind of figurines does he have? Is this Rias Grimory? What is this? I don't recognize these girls. I don't know some random gamer girls. <laughs> <laughs> The bougie ass aunties and moms, fucking jobless, fucking doing nothing, spending their husband's poor working money in an afternoon at a luxury bar. <laughs> you're, you're, you're bothering my experience. Shut the fuck up, Hag. Yeah, keep looking, keep looking. 
Never mind. Lightly salted taco. Taraco. So Death Gun is going for highly skilled players, right? Zexeed was number one. This guy was also another pretty skilled player. Death Gun is trying to get rid of the high skill competition because he's a fucking noob at the game. And if he can kill all the pro players with heart attacks, he can be number one. Is that the general idea? <laughs> Their city in GG was called Glock? Glock and City Plaza? Let's go! City of Glock! <laughs> so it's Death Gun again? If they are all Death Gun and they have a mask on, I think it's fair to assume that there is going to be some kind of like, what if these are the remnants of the Laughing Clown? What was it? What was the guild? What was it called the Laughing Clown? Remember in season one, the PK guild? And all of them are Death Gun. Laughing Coffin, Laughing Coffin. So now they're all Death Gun now. Every one of them has a mask. Everyone is the same shit. Witness true power, Death Gun. I could believe that. He said it! <laughs> Death gun. Death gun. <laughs> the lighting changes. Yeah, it, it brain fries due to atmosphere or nerve gear, but it's the heart this time? That's what happened in SAO. Okay, atmosphere is patched. No more microwave brain. And basically, the government worker is now saying, Kirito, go into GGO and figure out what's going on. Because that's kind of his job. Got it. Give him a reason to go in. Stop a player's heart with a bullet fired from within a video game. I feel like the bullet is fucking just symbolic. Like he shot at a TV screen. It's gotta be something else. We're, we're being led to believe that if he just shoots the fucking death gun at something, they'll die even if it's a TV screen? No. It's gotta be bullshit. We gotta escape that closed-minded idea. We gotta think outside the box and assume that it's symbolic and there's something else going on. But what could that something else be? How the fuck are you causing heart attacks? I mean, these motherfuckers are fucking not even eating for two days and playing. Is it natural heart attack? No, it's not a coincidence for me. Whoa. What? Whoa. Whoa. You think you think the death god can shoot a bullet and then it can phase with the game and come out of the person's home's fucking socket? <laughs> no shot. But there will be a bullet wound. How do you call this a heart? It's a heart attack bullet? What do you mean? It's crazy. It's a digital bullet though. It's not like a physical bullet. It's a digital bullet so there's no bullet wound. And it's like electric shock. And you go... And then heart attack. I, it's, it's, that's the idea? Hmm. We're talking about senses again. About how, you know how he's talking about creating the ultimate interface? Yeah, why are you looking at me like this? But if he doesn't have this meeting, then we wouldn't know what's going on. So for the sake of exposition to the audience, you have this conversation. I think he's right. It is unrelated. <laughs> Yeah, it's separate. The gunshot is simply symbolic. You're crazy. You want me to go in there and fucking risk a heart attack? Fuck you, bitch. What an insane thing to say. How much money are you going to fucking pay me, bro? Holy shit. Yeah, like what the fuck? Okay, <laughs> sussy. Now the aunties are like, what the fuck is this is actually appropriate. The granny is now looking down like this, like, what the fuck is going on? Yeah, uh, skilled players, super skilled players. He only goes for super skilled at top levels. He's trying to get rid of the competition. 
つまり強くないと打ってくれないんだよ。カイバ先生。いや、This is Valorant now。Straight up, we, we're going from fucking SA, we're playing, we're going from fucking World of Warcraft, where skill's not really that much of a thing, into fucking, you know, Valorant, where it's like, FPS games are no joke. It's fucking hard. Like, I'm terrible at FPS games. I'm alright at, like, you know, fucking, like, League of Legends and, like, other MMOs. They don't really require that much skill. League of Legends, it, obviously, it does, but, like, but if you start, if you play an FPS, you get to notice, like, just how shit you are. It's fucking crazy, the skill gap. It's insane. I'm not saying League of Legends is a hard, is an easy game. I'm just saying, like, the ceiling, sorry, the floor, it's kind of easy to just get in, just be a shitter. Everyone else can be a shitter. But, like, and I understand the power, the, the actual gap of pro players. I get it. But when I played an FPS, it felt like so fucking different. It felt like, holy fuck, I'm so behind. It's a totally different game. But Kito has. The best reaction speed. And reaction speed is so important in, you know, FPS games along with the fucking uh, 4K ultra wide monitor that has like, you know, 120, what is that? 100, what is that? What is the ideal? If you want to be running that shit at like 144 hertz, right? So it's like the most optimized, right? And you want to have like the, high, like the lowest ping ever, right? Sachi would die immediately, bro. Im imagine Sachi playing GGO. She, her ping was fucking ass in SAO. She could not survive in GGO. Every month, top players give me 200,000, 300,000. God damn! They're sweaty, dude. Three million yen. Why? I <laughs> Steve Jobs. What what's the year right now? Isn't the year like 2049? What what's the year? I, no, that's Mahoka. What's what's the year in SAO right now? Anyways, behold. It's 2025. Behold the eye glass. No more regular windows. Instead, we'll sell you the same window with the Apple logo on it at 300% markup. The eyeglass. Zaskar. American company? It's the rely on a high school kid. Every anime. Fate of the world relies on the high school kid. If you pay good money, yeah? <laughs> Fuck you, Diabel. <laughs> Fuck the army, bro. Kaiba, you fucking menace. I can't believe I'm rooting for you now. Oh, still holding hands. Is Asuna gonna join us in GGO? Is Asuna cracked at Valorant? Okay, that's the significance of Tokyo Center. Dude, the Ruby Palace! You can see the Ruby Palace from here! There it is! Kayaba's waiting for us! The shape itself represents something that significant? There are some very scenic moments, man. Hehe, <laughs> reminiscing about old time where people would die in the game. Hehe. <laughs> yep, let's cuck Lifa again. Yep. GGO. We have found a new pair of thighs that surpasses Sugu. Okay, new girl. This isn't Sugu playing GGO, right? Who is this? Okay. Sinon, new name, Sinon. Party, Sinon, Dain, Ginro, Jin, Miso, Arashi. Where's Zaza? <laughs>
What that time? Woo! Target hit! Tsuki. What is season two about? Season two, no more World of Warcraft. We are playing Valorante. FPS, sweaty game. The skill ceiling is much higher. The skill floor is also much higher. Guns, pew pew. And in a game where you think that reaction speed and agility is the important thing, Zexeeds is that there's a new meta. And before he could disclose what the new meta was, he got fucking shot through a TV by this guy named Death Gun, who I thought could be Zaza. But it's not Zaza, I guess. It's Death Gun. She shoots at the TV screen. This is symbolic. We're getting too focused on how the bullet killed him. But I think we have to think about outside the block. So it's like, how could he have caused the heart attack? I don't know. That's what we got to fucking figure out. Looking like pretty fun in those season. There's like a new game. And I'm not sure if Asna or other people are going to be showing up. But hey, get into here to play Valorant and let's see how good he is. I mean, he's got crazy reaction speed, right? That's why he had the unique skill dual wield in SAO. So surely he's going to be cracked in this game too. But that's it for me. If you're still here, if you enjoyed this reaction, please like the video. Check out the other playlist for more content. And until next time, take care.